Good morning. Oh, there's a big truck coming. Hang on. There's a garbage truck over there. Don't know if you can see it. So it might be a bit noisy, but anyway, good morning. Okay, so it's Monday over here. I've just dropped the kids off to Nana's for the day. It's a, technically a public holiday over here, um, but I'm working anyway because, you know, when you're a mum, you work every day anyway. So it doesn't feel any different. Um, so I've got... What have I got on today? I'm going to a brunch this morning with um, some lovely girls that I met through B school. Hang on, I'm just crossing the road, so I'm not going to talk while I do that. So I'm just going to brunch with some B school buddies. It will be lovely to see them. And then I've got a coaching call today. I'm going to grab a few groceries and then go and hang out with the kids at their Nana's house. Oh, I'm so unfit, I've been walking for like 30 seconds and I'm out of breath already and I'm not even going up a hill. Crazy. Maybe I better get something healthy for brunch. So it's about 9.30 at night now. I had a really nice brunch with the B-School girls. It was lovely. And then I had an awesome coaching call with a new client. You know when you're faced with a problem and you kind of brainstorm it out with somebody and then it's like suddenly everything just fits and you completely nail it? That's how that felt today. And it was just, it was just wonderful. It was really, really wonderful. Um, and anyway, then after that, I had a lot of extra admin work to do. And I went over to my mum's house. Mum had the girls today. They go and see Nana on a Monday. And I went over to be able to hang out there for a little bit. It was so cute. The kids were playing outside in the sprinkler, which was adorable. The girls' cousins were there as well. They've got four cousins that live locally. And yeah, it was just so beautiful watching them just play around in the water because um, it's such hot weather over here right now. It's like we went from winter and freezing to boiling hot weather all of a sudden um, and it's really really lovely but it's so weird because it's so hot that you want to put the air conditioning on now um, but on the other hand it's still only spring so you feel like oh no I shouldn't turn the air con on um, because you don't want to use up the energy when it's not even summer yet but anyway so it was that hot we got the sprinkler out for the kids today and it was just adorable watching them Georgia had a ball just filling up one random cup with water and tipping it on her head anyway so I spent the rest of the afternoon at my mum's and the kids usually have dinner there. I give them a bath there and they have a bit of a play and then they come home and go straight to bed. Um, and I realised that by the time they got to bed and Ben and I had dinner together and a bit of a relax and a chat, it was already coming on 9 o'clock. And I thought, wow, I had so much other follow-up work, um, like blog work and video work and sponsored work and client work that I actually have to complete. Um, it just feels like it's a really busy time right now. And you know what I'm like, I don't like to be um, overwhelmed busy, but sometimes that happens. I'm lucky and I'm happy that I've got a lot of good work coming in at the moment and it's really fun and I love doing it. But at the same time I have to remember that, you know, what I do for a living is teach other mums and mums who run their own businesses how to not get overwhelmed by everyday life and work and how to pace themselves um, and how to set up simple structures so they can deal with all the stuff that's going on in their life. And I realised today that at the moment I've actually got quite a bit going on myself and I need to take a little bit of time to step back and work out what my priorities are and how I'm going to fit everything in. And you know, I thought I would share with you tonight how I normally do that. So I'm out here in our bar. You would have seen us have dinner in here last night if you watched yesterday's vlog. Um, and basically I'm just going to take in the washing and fold it here on the pool table. That's where I've got the camera on right now. Um, have a look. You're on you're on our pool table right now um, watching us sorry if I just made that wonky um, but basically what I'm going to do is take in the washing fold it while I'm out here and then take it all into the house ready to be put away straight away um, and you might ask why am I doing this at 9 30 at night and the truth is this is like my laundry zen time so whenever I'm feeling really overwhelmed um, or a little bit too flat out, a little bit too busy or feeling like I haven't had any time for myself 
um, that day then this is what I'll do. I'll come out and I'll do something productive like taking the washing in and folding it up. Um, that's not a big job. I can do it on autopilot. It's nice and quiet. Well, it's usually nice and quiet because I'm not chatting the whole time. <laughs> but it's nice and quiet and it's just yeah it's like a little bit of a zen moment for me and I get that done and it's like I've got time with my thoughts then. I've got space to think about okay what are the things that are on my plate right now? Um, what are the things that really need to be done straight away? And how can I pare back the rest of the things to make life a little bit simpler? Um, and then, you know, I usually find that I come up with a solution while I'm actually doing the folding. And it's usually a solution that I would give one of my private clients normally. So yeah, I think it's just time I took a bit more of my own medicine and mellowed out a little bit. Um, but don't worry, I'm still gonna be daily vlogging. <laughs> You might have a couple of vlogs here and there where I am just quite chatty and not showing you a whole lot, but don't worry, I'm also going to take you around with me and still show you behind the scenes of what everyday life is really like, because I love taking you guys along with me. Um, and I've made it to a few days in a row so far, so let's hang in there and see if I can do the whole of Vlogtober. Um, if you're liking what you see so far, don't forget to comment below and let me know what you do like, and hit thumbs up if you like the videos, because that's the best way for me to know um, that I'm on the right track with what you want to see. Happy to take suggestions. I think I might do a house tour on one of these days. And i am also got some Halloween prep coming up that Sophie's really excited about. In Australia, Halloween isn't a really big thing, but my kids are five years old and three years old. And you know, they love the idea of Halloween and I really want to embrace that this year. So we're going to do some decorating and some sort of Halloween cooking. And I can't wait to take you guys along on that ride with us. So I guess basically all that's left to do now is do my folding. Um, I'll show you a little bit of that but it's, it's not really any different to anybody else's folding. And then when that's done I'm going to go in and have a shower and go to bed and have an early night. Maybe watch a couple of YouTube videos or read a bit more of the James Patterson book that I showed you the other day. But I think it's time to chill out a little bit and relax and start again tomorrow. Thank you for watching um, and for subscribing too. Um, you guys don't miss out on a video then and I like to meet you guys as well so to see you pop up on my feed and comment and you know such lovely comments that you've done over the last few days um, they've really they've really made me smile so thank you for that I really appreciate it um, yeah and I will stop rambling now and get back to the folding so yeah good night guys <laughs>